Hi, um, in this video we're going to look at whether it's the processor or the motherboard that's dead. I've got um, two AMD motherboards and I've now got, well, I've got two potentially dead motherboards and a number of different processors and there's another board here also seems to be dead so is it the motherboard that's dead or is it the processor that's dead or is it both so I've bought this MSI motherboard um, and it is I bought it as working second hand so we'll set this up see if this works and then move on to testing these other processors to see if they work in this um, and then that will let us know if the processors work in this system then it must be the motherboard that is dead so it's that sort of you know when you when you've got a dead system you don't know whether it's the motherboard or whether it's the processor so I did buy another processor for this and it was still dead so um, I don't know whether the processors are dead because I just don't have a working AMD M2 socket system until now. So uh, we'll set this up. I'm filming this in full HD just for ease of um, editing and upload and stuff and it'll probably be a fairly slow video. Not much editing so sort of quite a long one but yeah. Let's see what happens. This one's a nicely I mean, this was from eBay, got it for quite cheap. Um, nicely packaged, all the bits. Um, and nice bit of memory and a processor. And I've got some scissors here. Kingston Hyperx DDR2 RAM. So we should have four gigs of RAM. We've got a AMD Phenom processor. Pretty sure this is an X3. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the speed is. Um, and this motherboard comes with built-in graphics which is handy um, because then I don't have to mess around with an extra graphics card and just makes things a bit easier. The AMD processors that I've got, I've got um, AMD Athlon 64X2, another Athlon Athlon 2 and this AMD Phenom X3. Um, they should all work with DDR2 RAM. They don't have built in graphics, you know, a lot of processors have built in graphics. Um, this does not. Or well, these processors don't. So, Processor in, line up this dot with the gold corner here. And be careful of these pins, you don't want any of these to bend. I guess that's one benefit of Intel systems, they've not they've been using a uh, pinless system for a while. Um, Paste. I'm not going to worry too much about getting this perfect because um, I will be swapping out the processors and you probably shouldn't mix thermal paste but um, that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, so that one's run out. Got some Zalman thermal 
Greece. I don't know if this is uh, if it's white. I don't know if this is um, any good. No, there's nothing coming out of there. <laughs> I might just um, keep that because it's cute. But um, I do have other thermal paste. But there's some already on this heat sink that will help. Uh, where's the foam header? Go there. Says Dim one, Dim two, Dim three, Dim four. This is probably wrong. I was gonna do this properly. I'd probably check with the manual to see what the best slots to use are. So we need power and keyboard, mouse, graphics connection. Quite wobbly, isn't it? Five hundred watt thermal take power supply. It is um, eighty plus rated. Also got to connect the CPU connection over here. Got some um, switches here for some reason. OC switch. It all seems very um, tight. of jumpers from an old PC case so I just need to work out this front panel oh look it's got power button here on the um, on the motherboard reset clear CMOS power so maybe I don't need to connect these um, front panel connections so let me just adjust the camera it's not going to be very smooth and I'm going to switch on the power supply 
Yo, shit. Yo, shit. Yo, shit. That just something has just blown up. What the is that about? Why? So <laughs> Oh my goodness So something over here Basically Blew up like this this um this line on here uh are you gonna focus hello yeah oh, it's in single air something along here has just burnt out one of these lines coming from this power connector um so <laughs> in answer to the question it's another dead motherboard i've got a power connector power supply tester here so, Supply tester. And that's all fine. Um this is also fine. And this is also fine. So the power supply is fine. The motherboard's dead. We could try it again, I suppose, but I expect it'll be dead still. This this uh, line along here seems very much um, not good. So anyway, all these kind of connections on this motherboard seem a little stiff. But anyway, let's um, let's see what happens when we power on, or try to power on this motherboard. I'm going to switch it on now. Nothing's happening. Oh, we've got a green LED here. So if I press the power button, we don't have any fan spinning here is bad. The power supply fan is spinning. Um, I 
Nothing's on screen. Don't have any fan, so I don't know what's happening here. I'm going to switch it off. This fades. Um, I'm going to check this if there was any, oh, it's probably got a resistor or something in here or it joins up to the two black wires um, any other fan connector that I can use a little reach You won't reach. I don't know what to do about this now, really. Problem is, when you've got a broken motherboard, so you don't know if the processor still works. As this whole video was supposed to help us work out. See if we can get another power connector. So we can um, see if we can get this fan to spin. It doesn't seem, um, wired up in the usual way. This, um, fan. Normally you have, you see, normally you would have a, um, Red and yellow. Let me see. 12 volt. Black and red. Going there. Whereas this is black and black. Um, okay. So this is an Intel. Power connector. Not that it's in focus. Um, you can see here you've got black and yellow. This one is black and black. Maybe I've been. Um, Frying all these systems by using the completely like some weird fan from some other system. black black so when this is connected it's doing black black when it should be doing black and red so yeah that's a bit that's a bit 
wrong. Okay, so. No, we're not getting anything from this. I think this will be fried. And if we connect the system fan, we are getting something. Okay, so I'm going to probably switch this off. Gonna take this fan off, pretend it never existed, and um, maybe we'll um, see what happens next. This is the wrong screwdriver. Could connect a um, fan. I wonder if there's a buzzer on this motherboard. I mean, not a fan, a speaker. So, yeah, we need to put a fan on here. Maybe we should try a different processor in case I have literally just fried this one. Put that there. We'll just hold that there for now. So we've got this fan working, fast wire fan working. This is on. We're not getting anything on the screen. Getting any beeps. Okay, I'm going to have a look at the manual for the motherboard. Okay, 
so JFP1, which is this, is the front panel connector, power LED, power switch. Well, we've got these, so we don't need that. Hard drive LED and reset switch, so we've got that as well. So don't really need those. The speaker is JFP2. Um, a little buzzer here. And it is JFP2, where is that? This one. So we've got power LED which is green and then the speaker which is this one. So let's see if we get any beeps. Never a um, fun thing holding fans uh, like this in case it gets you or some it gets something. Um, not getting any beats. stick of RAM in case I've got it in the wrong place. I'm not getting anything on the screen, we're not getting any feet. This has burnt something else out and not really sure you can do much with the system once it's um, burnt out or died. Okay, so this is the motherboard, well, underneath the motherboard, and you'll see this um, line here has totally burnt out. There you go, there's a wire that is disconnected and should not be disconnected. Um, and you'll note as well that it goes straight to Looks like it goes to this fan header through here. Because these four pins are the um, this fan header. So. be interesting to see if I could wire up a sort of replacement bit of wire here to um, join these two bits back together. So, who'd have thought that um, 
this this fan is just wired up wrong, wrong well, um you know I guess there was a transition period when they went from uh, three wires to four wires and um, we've ended up somehow with the wrong one um, makes me wonder if that's what's happened to these um, other motherboards or perhaps these um, other motherboards have had like some kind of thermal cuts out that stops them from working yeah why don't we try that let's um, try one of these other motherboards So we will definitely not be um, using this fan. And we will be using this fan. And we do need the switches. So we're going to switch the power on. Mm. Oh. Okay. So we've got a fan. The motherboard switched on not got anything on the display oh we do we do have something on the display um let's see if i can let go of that yeah so we do we've got we've got a working system so <laughs> that is rather um interesting basically i thought this motherboard was dead and the other motherboard that i showed you earlier and it turns out it's because of this being completely wrong this um fan header and um just going to hold my monitor so i can check the cpu temperature is fine so basically this um this this fan header has been stopping this system from switching on. It must have gone, yep, yeah, there's something wrong here. And um, I'm not going to switch on. So, let me check the other processors, see if they work. I haven't connected the power button, so I'll just switch it off at the power supply. Well, I guess I thought this um, motherboard was broken, and it's not. And I guess if I didn't buy this other 
the motherboard and it burn out, I wouldn't have realised that this was the problem, this fan. So we've got Trying to find the dot and line up the dot. We've got the heat sink on. It's, um, hmm. Last time this just switched on by itself, didn't it? So you have to try and um, remember where the front panel is and try and remember all the settings. Switch. Here we go. Power switch. That's switching on. And we've got another system. So what's this one? Phenom triple core. 2.4 gigahertz hardware monitor. So let's try another processor. So in answer to the question, is it the processor or the motherboard that's the problem? It's actually the fan on the heatsink that you've been using on all of the systems. And yes, I should be reapplying thermal paste to each processor and doing this properly. Um, but at this moment in time, I'm just briefly testing them. So I have put in a different processor and we've got our system Athlon 64X2 dual core 4200 um, hardware monitor 25 degrees C there's one more processor to check. That's the 
kind of sound you don't want to hear, isn't it? Eee! It has boosted up anyway. Athlon dual core, 4450B. And there is the hardware monitor. Okay. So, let's quickly. Um, Fun 2, Fun um, Fun 64X2. No wonder people are confused by the different types of processors. Um, let's quickly test this other um, motherboard and then if that works, we've got. Four working processors, two working motherboards. Whereas we thought we had two broken motherboards and potentially many broken processors. This next motherboard is. An Asus. Looks quite nice. It doesn't have any built in graphics, so I've got to um, have this graphics card in here. Um, pick any. Short Apple keyboard. We won't need the mouse. Um, we will need a heat sink. Oops. And we will need the other power connector. Right, and we will need the power switch. Which is um, hmm. Oh, here we go. Here's the power switch reset speaker. Okay, here we go. So, power on. Pressing button. Got a light here. And we've got a working system there. Let's have a quick look in the um, BIOS hardware monitor. There we go. So, um, ooh, that's a poorly placed. Um, CPU. Yeet. You do not want metal things underneath your motherboard. Um, yeah. So, 
This wasn't the sort of outcome I was expecting. Um, I was expecting to have two dead motherboards. Um, but instead I have two working motherboards and one dead motherboard. So, um, yeah, that's kind of better than expected. And all the processes work. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure um, if this one supports unlocking extra cores, but this this ASRock motherboard um, supports unlocking extra cores with some of these chips, so that's quite a nice motherboard to have have working. Um, yeah, I think we can probably safely end the video there, and um, we've had some fun. We've learned that it's not always what you think, and paying attention to weird, like wiring on a fan on a heat sink, is probably a good idea. Um, yeah, here's here's the. Um, Four pin connector on a um, Intel, and you've actually got four different colours. Whereas on this, you've got two that look like they're just joined together in the middle in this bit. Um, but um, let's switch this off. this and probably maybe look up that number and then burn it or responsibly recycle it. Here's the number if you want to look it up. Here's the wiring and here's the Possibly, probably, completely dead. Um, well, board. So, thanks for watching, and I'll probably see if this memory still works, and I might try fix that motherboard. But um, maybe we'll. Do that in another video and I hope you've liked this longer style of video. Okay, thanks. Bye.